First alert traffic, the city of Henderson wants to take you, take a walk with you around Boulder Highway. Volunteers are needed for a walkability survey as part of the reimagined Boulder Highway project. Our traffic guru, Ken Smith, was out with walkers this morning. The city of Henderson is continuing their walkability survey with a $700,000 grant. And they're basically with the survey, they're trying to make things more walkable and livable for pedestrians and cyclists for a one mile radius on each side of Boulder Highway. We have an expert here, uh, Jeff Speck, right? And you're from Boston, right? A, a city planner from Boston? I'm from Boston, but I like to stress that I've spent a lot of time in the Sun Belt. <laughs> Although it's my first time in Henderson, uh, of course, I've visited Vegas occasionally, like so many people. All right, so we're standing at a bus stop. There's no shelter here. It is going to be over 100 degrees outside. How do you expect people to walk more in a city where it is so blistering hot? We don't expect this bus stop to stay unsheltered. Clearly, your bus stops like this need to have need to have shade. Um, we learned about walkability from winters in Quebec City and Chicago, from summers in New Orleans and Miami. Some of the most walkable places have really bad weather, and if you can get everything else right, people will choose to walk. Hey, hey, heat kills, though. I mean, I know cold kills, too, but heat actually kills more. That, so that's that's the concern. But, I mean, what are you going to do? We're out on Galleria Drive doing the walk. What do you think uh, we could do to make it a little bit safer, though, for pedestrians? So making it safer would have to do with perhaps some sort of physical barrier between the sidewalk and the street. If there's a buffer, like you see here, between the bike lane and the sidewalk, that buffer could have some sort of vertical object in it. Um, but probably more likely in a more typical approach has to do with making the lanes the right width. We've got 12 foot lanes here, we've got 13 foot, 14 foot on some of your other streets. Uh, that encourages people to go way above the speed limit. So when it comes time to repave these streets, we want to restripe it to a standard that matches the speed limit as opposed to way above the speed limit, which is what you see now. All right, and uh, real quick before we wrap it up, how, how much longer is this uh, survey going to be continuing here with Henderson? Are we, you're going to be doing more tonight, right? So this is our uh, fourth or fifth of, of five um, uh, walk audits that we've done. Um, and, and that's it for this week, but probably over the next four or five months, we'll be completing our analysis and our recommendations for the city. Okay. All right, uh, Jeff Speck here, um, city planner and walkability expert. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. All right, and uh, so once again, they're going to be doing this walkability uh, audit and continuing out here, and they're also going to be at America First Arena this afternoon, right around 4 o'clock. Is that right? About, yeah, about 4 o'clock. And uh, you can go to there and uh, also speak your mind about all these uh, projects and the potential for changes on our roadways leading to and from Boulder Highway. Guys, we'll send it back over to you.